Hey, good morning, Pete, North Las Vegas. Uh, a while back, I upgraded this Remington uh, Police Special Sniper, and that's what it was called when I bought it, PSS. Um, this is in a 223 caliber. So it originally had a hinged floor plate, and uh, it loaded okay, but it was a little bit clunky, and then uh, I just didn't like the idea of having to load all the rounds through the, the bolt area, so I decided to upgrade to this HS Precision uh, bottom metal. Um, when I bought this rifle, this stock was what came with it. And this stock was made by HS Precision for Remington. So if you bought a police special back in the early 90s, you automatically got an HS Precision stock with your, uh, with your police special. So anyway, here's the two magazines that I got. This is a four rounder here, and this is a 10 rounder here. And I was having uh, mostly feeding issues with the 10 rounder. Uh, it didn't like to load slow, in between, fast. It was just constantly uh, jamming bullets into the bottom of the feed ramp area of the barrel. So I knew I was going to have to adjust the, uh, the feed lips on this one. And the four rounder would do okay so long as I was going like medium speed or fast, but it was still acting up on uh, if I tried to, to load slow. So anyway, here's the uh, instructions, and you can see I highlighted in yellow for 223. Um, these are kind of recommended uh, starting spots, and uh, I came in quite a bit larger than, than what they are recommending for, for this particular rifle. And um, I bought their adjustment tool, and you can see one side's beveled, and these different slots will allow you to kind of get... Uh, down into these stamped reinforcement areas, or you can use the slots to get you know behind the, the corners, and they give you quite a bit of adjustability on this as far as where uh, you can make your bends on the feed lips. So uh, they, they give you a little gauge. It's not real accurate, but it'll kind of get you in the ballpark, I guess. But anyway, I thought I'd show you with the uh, the caliper where we ended up to get this rifle to work uh, slow, medium, and fast as far as... Uh, chambering around okay so once again they recommended a, a good starting place on the front gap at uh, 0 0.325 and where I ended up for my rifle and to get this thing to, to feed smoothly I ended up at uh, 0.335 and then on the rear they wanted 312 and I didn't try going down to 312, but I just kind of left it at about, it comes in about 315. So that's where I ended up on the rear. And starting at about the middle, um, back here, I started at 30 and then increased to 35 for the, the second half. And that's what seemed to get these magazines to work the best. Um, what I notice is still on the first couple of rounds, because there's a lot of spring tension on this 10 rounder, and then even with the four, the four rounder, the first round, it, it feeds smoothly, but you can tell there's still a, a tiny bit of resistance. It doesn't go in like butter. But anyway, because of these adjustments that I made, I have these uh, both um, now feeding slow, medium speed, or fast. It'll chamber the round. Uh, it doesn't damage the, the rounds. I was doing some serious damage when I first tried to load these things, when I first got the magazine. Uh, also on this particular magazine, there was a burr on the inside edge. So I took care of that with some 400 grit, got the little burr smoothed out. What I noticed was at first I thought maybe it was the feed ramps or going into the chamber that was kind of scraping the round up. But after closer inspection, I, I found a little tiny burr on the, the inside of the feed lip. So anyway, I thought we'd load these things up and uh, you know show you how well the the rifle chambers now. Okay, so we'll get the 10 rounder in and uh, all right. Now it'll load slow in between and fast, but uh, I'm just going to kind of do medium speed and we'll try to get this on the, the camera.
Uh oh. I changed my cadence. That was me on that one that got goofed up. It wasn't the rifle. I didn't, I wasn't smooth on the bolt. Okay, we'll get the four rounder in. Okay, so I've inspected all the rounds. There's no damage. The bullets aren't dinged up. There's no heavy scratches. Uh, so everything's loading fine. Um, I was kind of dreading this project. I just, I watched quite a few videos on YouTube and just literally just a few thousands one way or the other can make all the difference. But uh, it didn't turn out too bad. I've, I've been out here adjusting both magazines for maybe about an hour. So it uh, didn't go too bad. Anyway, Pete North Las Vegas, over and out.